and Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. So I noticed a bunch of pallets sitting where I worked the other day and I thought to myself, that's a lot of really well sort of genre or aged wood that's sitting there and it'd be pretty cool to be able to do something with it. Now, something like that you can obviously do a lot with in a post-apocalyptic game, but I wanted to do something more medieval fantasy. So I started thinking what I could use these planks for and you know a lot of ideas came to mind but one of the first things that came to mind was signs. So one thing at most LARPs I go to that I notice is that there's no signage. Um, so there aren't signs pointing you know that the tavern's this way or that you know a certain town or village is this direction. Um, there's no signs that say like mine or keep out or just really any sort of signage at all and uh, if I do ever run across the sign it's usually something really cheap it's like just something handwritten or printed out on paper and uh, I think we can do better than that for immersion so I went ahead and uh, decided to use some pallet wood to make some pretty cool signs and uh, I made two of them but I think that these ones turned out well and I'm gonna make a bunch more and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that and uh, hopefully you can get yourself some pallet wood and uh, make some own immersive signs for your own game if it doesn't already have them. Even though it is incredibly unbecoming for a gentleman of my social stature to walk behind these refuse containers to find these pallets, I've decided to come back here so I can reclaim some of this pallet wood to make some really awesome signs. And uh, that's going to be today's project. So, let's go. Once you've selected the boards that you're going to use off of the pallets, then you can get cutting. Now, you're going to want to decide if you want to cut these on angle so that they look like arrows pointing the direction that you're going to go, or if you want to just leave them square or rectangular like this, and uh, then paint the arrow on for the direction they're going, or if you don't need arrows, you know, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to cut one of these actually at an angle pointing the direction that you're meant to go just to simplify things. I think I'm gonna use these smaller boards and actually save this bigger board for uh, something more like an orc village sign or something along those lines and use these for more of the established sort of human settlements because these boards look a lot nicer than this one. And uh, from there, it's just a matter of uh, painting the name of the town on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut these first. All right, now once you have the board cut in half and you can use a hand saw or a band saw or just put it against a wall and kick it or whatever you want to do. But once you have this cut, now we're going to pick an end to put our little uh, arrow on. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this one and you just need something that has a edge so you can make your arrow. So I'm going to use just this board here and then just draw on here and make ourselves a little arrow. And it's that simple. And then from there, we're gonna cut this. And uh, I may put a little sort of a raggedy end on this, or I may just leave that be, we'll see. And here's the cutout example. So I used a band saw and I, uh, you know, didn't really worry about staying in the lines. I just wanted to make sure that this tapered to a point. And then on the back end here, I took and just cut out a bunch of little sort of jagged portions and you can make these as big or small as you care to it's just we want to try to you know get rid of these holes as much as we can so it doesn't have any sort of like modern look to it now these two that are on here didn't really bother me but you know we want to try to avoid having too many of these holes on there and the best thing about this is is if you cut it in half you have enough left over for two now we have the two signs and we'll do just like a standard keep out sign kind of like a Shrek thing and then uh, the town sign and uh, I'm going to use these brads instead of nails. Now if you can get your hands on some old nails those will work too.
And this is what the finished product looks like for our little pallet signs that we made. So you can see here that all I did was take one piece of pallet wood and then I put the nails through it and cut it so that it pointed in a direction. So now we know that Riften is that way. You put that where two paths merge and there you have it. Perfect immersive LARP sign. Now you can paint that, like I said, in a different uh, language. You can paint that in a different font. You don't have to put the white on the trailing edge. You can make it a little bit bigger if you can find a fatter palette. Uh, you can break it up a little bit more, however you want to do it. But the palette wood already has that great sort of weathered aesthetic value to it. And then when you just sort of add that paint onto it and place it in the proper environment, it just fits the bill, it fits right in. And uh, that's if you want to put it on a post, is what it looks like. Now the other option that you have is to just affix it to a tree. Now I wouldn't suggest screwing it or nailing it to a tree because you don't want to hurt the tree. But you could wrap some sort of twine or jute or something around it to secure it. Um, if you wanted to or if the tree's dead, you could nail it to it or screw it to it. But I suggest using those brads or some sort of vaguely you know, period accurate nail or fastener to put it on there so it looks better. And this one just has our generic sort of uh, Shrek keep out uh, written on there. And I tried to make it fairly neat, but you can, you know, make it as jacked up as you want or put it in a different language or dwarven runes or whatever you want to put on it. But you just stick that get out sign on the tree and people know not to come in. You know, if you want to, you could lean it <laughs> or whatever you want to do. Uh, to make it fit whatever aesthetic you're going for. But um, I happen to think it looks pretty cool. And just using some pallet wood, you know, to make this so simple. And anyone anywhere should be able to find pallet wood or ask for it and get it for free and make these little signs. And uh, they're just so easy and cool to make. And you can make a bunch of generic ones for your game. They could even just be blank and just have arrows on. And you could just very easily hang them up a couple places around the camp that you're using. Just to add that little bit more immersion, that little bit more depth to your game. I hope you found this video interesting. And if you did, please like the video, subscribe, and share with others so that everyone can know how to make these cool little projects. And of course, as always, adventure on. Oh, what? Keep out? Huh. That probably means there's good stuff back here. Did anyone see this sign? Yeah! I didn't see any sign. Let's go.